Welcome to the RA Centre in Ottawa for the bronze medal matchup between Canada and Italy in the World Flag Football Championship here on Rogers TV. Hello again everyone, John Bauer, Josh Sacobi, and our entire Rogers TV crew here at the RA Centre. And Josh, uh, it is a rainy day here in the nation's capital, but uh, that will never stop a good football match from uh, being contested. Not at all, and uh, I'm pretty excited because we're sitting underneath the tent and we're staying dry so it won't stop these guys I think we're gonna see a great game here now these two teams uh, are uh, playing for the bronze because they they lost in their respective semi-final matchups uh, how do these two squads Josh match up heading into the bronze medal I think you're gonna see a really good game you know these two met in the pre preliminary round and uh, it was it was pretty good uh, you know Italy lost 39-31, uh, you see it right there, and it was back and forth. Uh, I think you're going to see another good game. And then, of course, Canada uh, defeated Austria, Germany, and Sweden by big margins. Uh, they defeated Mexico in the quarterfinal, but lost uh, to the U.S. 48-25 uh, earlier today in uh, the uh, semifinal. Yeah, and as you can see, you know, they get a lot of action throughout uh, the course of the tournament, and they get better. And some of these teams got better over, over the course of playing those games. Uh, Canada be one of them. But Team Italy had a, a very, very solid run. They were undefeated until the semifinal when they lost to Denmark 45-6 to earlier today. I saw that game and it really seemed that uh, Italy's offense just could not get going. Yeah, and you know, to start off the tournament, they, they, they seemed like they were the favorites in the, to go in and win the men's division. So Canada has won the toss and they will have the first possession here in this bronze medal final at the World Flag Football Championship. The quarterback for Canada is Sean Johnson. He will drop back in his end zone pump and fire deep downfield for Jason Bailey, and it's swatted aside by uh, Enrico Liner, uh, Linardi. Yeah, that's not a big surprise there. Canada coming out and going for it right away, and that's uh, Sean Johnson for you. He calls a lot of the plays, and they take their shot coming out of the gate. Uh, really exciting to watch. Now there was a flag on the play, and it, uh, it is a five yard uh, penalty an illegal rush by the defense, so it will be a repeat of the first down. Now, this is not like uh, normal North American football where you get 10 yards and you get a first down. You actually have to travel the 25 yards from your goal line to the midfield stripe to get a fresh set of downs. John Johnson's pass to the sidelines is incomplete as it was intended for Marc Remiau. Let me go back to what you were saying, John. Uh, but the four downs going to mid midfield, it's really our first down marker. And again, four downs because we operate under the, the NCAA American rules with uh, the IFAF Federation. So you're going to see a lot of passing and uh, we'll explain some of the intricacies of flag football at the international level a little bit later on in the broadcast. It is a second down for Canada. It is a handoff there to Johnson. Johnson will pitch it over to, or excuse me, it was Bailey that took it, and he pitches over to Johnson on the far sideline. Yeah, you'll see Canada do a lot of that when they come in, and they did do that uh, underneath center because it makes the quarterback, uh, James, or Sean, sorry, eligible to run the ball when the quarterback's not really allowed to run. So it's third down for Canada. They have to pick up about 20 yards here. Johnson fires over the middle, and it will fall incomplete as uh, Jason Bailey could not get his hands underneath the ball. Yeah, Sean's just struggling right now. He usually starts off pretty strong, and you can see right there he's throwing the ball a little short. He's got to step into his throws. So scoring at six uh, points for a touchdown, just like in, in uh, uh, touch football, but there is a one-point try and a two-point try and you have to pass from either the five yard line or the 12 yard line and the safety is worth two points. Makes the game really exciting. Well, especially when you have to determine are you gonna go for two and you're passing for, from 12 yards out. As Johnson is, is rushed, he steps up, throws deep downfield and, and it good. is caught for a Canada touchdown. Great adjustment there by a receiver. You know, he did underthrow it again, but again, fighting back for the ball. And you can still have that aggressive play in flag football. The ball is up and it's uh, it's up for grabs and you, you 
and Canada came down with it. Marc Remiard gets the touchdown for Canada. And as you were saying, Josh, he came back to the ball. He was being defended quite nicely there by uh, Bonomo. So this is a one point, one point convert. The fake and the uh, pass is intercepted by Italy. Yep. It is Pascolo running down the field, and he is going to score. Interesting here, because he's going to get the one point here for returning this back. Massimiliano uh, Bonomo with the uh, pick. Now what happened on that play, Josh? Just a little bit uh, too much time? Yeah, and I think when you're on the five-yard line, you're going for the one-point conversion. You're looking for quick routes right there. He just wasn't too careful with controlling the ball. So Italy now with the possession. And a flag down on the play. We have some contact here. That's why we're seeing the flag. Vianney was, uh, is the uh, quarterback, or is the uh, receiver, excuse me. He's the backup quarterback, and there's the physical contact. And that's one thing in flag football, Josh, is that there is no physical contact. Yeah, and right there you can see it was right of way versus... Uh, right of place and the defender clearly being able to stand their ground and make the flag but obviously the, the opposition here being the offensive player was running so it was just clearly a case of uh, both being in the same area at the time interested to see the call they actually uh, i believe uh have just picked the uh, the flag up off of the field and you may have noticed that the uh quarterbacks have a play book on the field as you uh, see right there with uh, uh, the uh, with uh, Vianney. Yes very much and it looks like it's about 30 pages long and, and you see there are multiple formations uh, that Italy has. Fierley drops back and he will fire and it is completed to at number 25 uh, Rossi. So now the Italians within uh, about six yards of picking up a first down. And as you can see, he's pulling out that playbook again, unlike tackle where we usually have it on a wristband. You'll see a lot the players have more control in their play calling. Uh, the coaches have a different role here in, in flag football, but the quarterback really controls it. Motion. And only one player can be in motion. Bierley's pass is completed to Rossi, and he gains the first down. And uh, a lot more, picks up about 20 yards on the uh, catch. Just much like tackle, you know, you miss a tackle, you miss a flag. It really requires some technique to break down and really reach and uh, focus on the hips of the, of the opposition here. Vincent Williams with the stop. Can't really call it a tackle, although it's the same, uh, basically is the same thing. A pass underneath for Vianney. And he has the flag stripped off of him just outside of the five yard no run zone. Now what does that mean, Josh? So basically when you're in the five yards of the goal line, you're not allowed to run the ball. Very much you would, you, you would think on the one yard line you could do a quarterback sneak, but you cannot. So that's why that rule's in there. And this game's really to encourage passing the football. That's why it's there, but right now I believe it's on 6-1, so you might see something interesting here from Italy. And it's not like in tackle football where you have an offensive and a defensive line right up on a, a yard off of the ball either. Exactly. You'll notice that the defense Plays back, fake pitch, and a pass into the end zone for a touchdown. Polidori hauls it in, and the Italians will take the lead on that touchdown, pending the uh, conversion. So on the replay here, we had a fake, which means they're allowed to do because they're outside the no-run zone. You're not allowed to do a fake at all when you're even inside that five yards. So this is going to be a one-point convert attempt. 
Biani slipping in the mud, now throws it into the end zone, and it, it is out of bounds. Might have gone off of the hand of the Canadian uh, defender, Jason Bailey. And you'll notice that there is a very quick rhythm to flag football. We are playing two 15-minute halves here in this bronze medal game. The snap is high. Johnson comes down with it, and he completes the pass to number 82, Aaron Tufford. As you can see, too, the field's very small. It's uh, 50 by 25. It means the players really have to be really quick to make a quick move. You'll see a lot of spinning, a lot of turning, not so much juking because they want to turn the hips. They want to take the focus and the hands away from the flag. And this field is becoming very soft as the day progresses. There's been a lot of rain here in Ottawa. The snap back to Johnson. He'll pump and fire close to a first down is uh, Remiard, the touchdown scorer for Canada. He will be, he will get the first down. And Josh, you were talking about some of the uh, uh, intricacies of the game. Let's go through them. Yep, so basically you have f it's five on five flag football. You know, you five on a team. Uh, it's 12-man rosters, and then you have, you get, of course, the 50 by 25 with the five-yard no-run zone. Seven yards basically gives the rusher free to the quarterback. The pump fake and the pass is intercepted. Leonardi, Enrico Leonardi comes up with the pick. And just like that, Italy goes back to offense. It's a bit unfortunate here that uh, Sean Johnson takes a shot. Going with the pump fake, thinks he can get Italy to jump down on those quick passes, which they've been setting up. Uh, unfortunately, Italy's been pretty disciplined here. Great play. Tremendous play to make a play on the ball. That catch reminds me of uh, one of your former receivers, Adam Nicholson, uh, hauling down some of your passes. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. You can see these guys really have some athletic ability out here. And they've got great hands. That's the one thing I've noticed with all the receivers. They've got some great hands. And there's a pass complete to Vianney. Vianney turns it upfield, gains the first down, and a lot more as he will be within uh, the uh, midfield line. So about 23 yards out from uh, the goal, and a flag flies at the end of the play. See, that's the great thing about this game is that you know it's 25 yards wide, but a quick pass like that can turn into a, a long play. The officials discussing the penalty here. A dead ball delay of game call against Canada. So tack on another five yards. And Italy has a first down and a little over a half of the Canadian side of the field to go before the end zone. Vierly takes the snap. He looks, passes to his favorite target, Vieni. Vieni will get to inside the 10 yard line and close to the five. In fact, this might actually be another one of the, those situations, Josh, where they will be at the six yard line. Which is an advantage for Team Italy because they, it really opens up their package now. Because they still have the uh, run option available to them. Canada has to be disciplined here, really not to jump on any fake and really play tough man on man in this zone. The teams have 25 seconds to put the ball in play. Vierly comes under his snapper, Vianney, or excuse me, uh, under uh, Rossi. And again, they do that fake. The center releases off. And uh, the Italians think they got the end zone as Rossi took the little sh shovel pass. So he lost his flag just before crossing the goal line. And just like in touch football, it is uh, breaking the plane. Yeah, and you think it's an advantage to play up close because in tackle you can press. In flag you can't. So it is second and goal for Italy from the one yard line. And they must pass. They come out in this trips again. 
Vieni fakes. Now gives it off to Leonardi for 